Good morning. This is All India Radio, Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Siantan. National Disaster Management Authority, NDMA, has extended the nationwide lockdown till 31st of this month. NDMA has asked all the ministries and departments of government of India, state governments and state authorities to continue the lockdown measures in the country. The third phase of lockdown ended last night. NDMA has also directed National Executive Committee to issue modified guidelines for the fourth phase of the lockdown commencing today, keeping in view the need to open up economic activities while containing the spread of COVID-19. The guidelines issued by Home Ministry specify the national directives for COVID-19 management, which applies to public places and workplaces. Under these guidelines, wearing of face covers is compulsory, spitting will be punishable with fine, and social distancing is to be followed by all persons. The practice of work from home should be followed to the extent possible, and staggering of work hours should be adopted. After National Disaster Management Authority, NDMA, extended the lockdown till 31st of this month, National Executive Committee has released a detailed guideline to be followed in the fourth phase of nationwide lockdown starting from today. All domestic and international air travel of passengers, except for domestic medical services and security purposes or purposes as permitted by the Ministry of Home Affairs, will remain prohibited even in the fourth phase of lockdown. Schools, colleges, educational, training and coaching institutions will remain closed. Online distance learning continues to be permitted. Hotels, restaurants and other hospitality services will also remain closed as earlier. However, hospitality services meant for health or government officials, healthcare workers, stranded persons, including tourists, and for quarantine facilities are allowed to remain open. Restaurants shall be permitted to operate kitchens only for home delivery of food items. All cinema halls, shopping malls, gymnasiums and similar places will remain closed. All social, political, sports, entertainment, academic, cultural, religious functions and other types of gatherings and large congregations remain to be prohibited. All religious places, places of worship shall be closed for public. Religious congregations are strictly prohibited. Interstate movement of passenger vehicles and buses with mutual consent of the states involved will be permitted. Intrastate movement of passenger vehicles would be as decided by the respective states or union territory governments. Standard operating procedures for movement of persons is to be strictly followed. No relaxation has been extended to the containment zones. All states and union territories have been asked to ensure seamless interstate and intrastate movement of medical professionals, nurses and paramedical staff, sanitation personnel and ambulances. Interstate movement of all types of goods and cargo, including empty trucks, remains allowed. Nagaland Chief Secretary Demjan Doi has ordered that all the existing guidelines with regard to the lockdown in all parts of the state issued wide order dated 4th May 2020 will continue to remain operative till the issuance of fresh guidelines. Dimabu Deputy Commissioner Anup Kinchi has ordered a requisition of new facilities as quarantine centres for stranded people returning from outside the state for Dimapu district. The requisition centres are Idka Madrasa, located at Kolakat Road, Jain Pawan at Marwari Pati, Hindu Community Hall at Galibari, Gurubwada Lodge at Marwari Pati, and Durga Mandir Lodge at Marwari Pati. The centres have been suggested by their respective communities and duly verified by the Accommodation Committee together with Medical Department and representatives of Commissioner of Police. The Mabu Police have traced the originators of a viral fake news on WhatsApp which stated that 20 people had fled from quarantine center at Agri Expo Dimapu. Police said action has been initiated against the fake news originator and four other persons. 
Old Commercial Vehicles Association Woka, on its sixth Foundation Day yesterday, donated medical equipment worth about 70,000 rupees to Christian Medical Center, CMC Vankosan. ACVA officials led by its president, Yanyitung Lota, handed over the equipment, which included oxygen cylinder, oxygen regulator, BB machine, pulse reader, weighing machine, stethoscope, wheelchair and other materials. Meanwhile, Managing Director CMC, Dr. Rilantan Odio, expressed gratitude to the ACVA for their generous contribution towards the hospital. With that, we end the morning news. Have a nice day.